Hi there and welcome to a measurement video on the units of volume. Quite an involved one this one, so buckle in. So the basic unit of volume is the cubic meter. Meters cubed is the symbol for it, m cubed. Common variations of the basic unit of volume can include uh, cubic kilometers. That'd be pretty big, wouldn't it? Kilometers cubed. Cubic centimeters. Centimeters cubed and cubic millimetres. Millimetres cubed is the symbol. So the sorts of things we'll be working with and converting between. Now we'll compare units of volume to the units of length and the conversion rates we had there. You'll remember that to one centimetre equals ten millimetres, so the conversion rate we'd say is ten between them and it depends on which direction you're going, whether you multiply by ten or divide by ten. The conversion rate between metres and centimetres is a hundred, depending on you in which direction you're going, and the conversion rate between kilometres and metres uh, is, is a thousand. Now, uh, we, the reason why we reminded ourselves of units of length is because when cubic units are used, we actually cube the normal conversion rate. It's a good thing to remember. When we're using cubic units, we cube the normal conversion rate. And we use cubic units when we are working with volume. So, the cubed conversion rate between centimetres and millimetres is a thousand. So when we go from centimetres and millimetres to centimetres cubed and millimetres cubed, the relationship between one centimetre cubed and uh, it equals a thousand millimetres cubed. Hard to imagine. That's a pretty big number. So when we go between metres cubed and centimetres cubed, the conversion rate is actually a million. Uh, because we got uh, a thousand from doing ten cubed, or ten times ten times ten. If we cube a hundred, hundred times a hundred times a hundred, we get six zeros at the end. And so the relationship between uh, meters cubed and centimeters cubed, there are a million centimeters cubed in every meter cubed. Amazing. Okay, so if we cube a thousand, a thousand times a thousand times a thousand, we actually have nine zeros and we get a billion. <laughs> a bit hard for our brains, this one. One kilometer cubed, a cubic kilometer, has a billion cubic meters in it. We're talking some big numbers here. So when, with volume, we're talking cubic units and the conversion rates get pretty powerful. Okay, there's the things we just wrote down there. We have to remember when we're converting, which we're just about to do, we have some conversion rules we'll stick to. If we're converting to smaller units, we will be multiplying by the conversion rate. And if we're converting to larger units, we'll be dividing by the conversion rate. But we'll have a decision sort of uh, table here to help us. We'll ask ourselves, what's the conversion rate, depending on which units we're converting from and to? There'll be either a thousand, a million, or a billion. Um, we have to ask ourselves whether con we're converting to small units or large units, so to uh, follow which of the conversion rules, and we uh, so that'll tell us which uh, whether we're multiplying or dividing by those conversion rates, and then we'll remember that we're moving the decimal point by one place for every zero, depending on whether we're multiplying or dividing, and we'll get an answer, of course. All right, so that's our decision table here, and I'll show you how it works in a minute. Be like when we converted other units you know, in other videos. So here we have 3.72 centimeters cubed, and they want us to convert that to millimeters cubed. Now our conversion rate between centimeters and millimeters is a thousand. So let's reflect that. Our conversion rate is a thousand. So I've put a box around that in that uh, decision template here. We're converting to smaller units. Uh, millimetres cubed are sm millimetres generally are <laughs> smaller than centimetres, but cubic ones are, are much smaller. So when we're converting to smaller units, you see from that top conversion rules here, smaller units we are multiplying by that thousand. When you multiply by a thousand, the decimal point moves three places to the right. So, uh, yep, we'll think of that decimal point going one, two, three spots there, and we might have to fill in one of those place values with a zero. 3,720 uh, 3, millimetres cubed is our final answer there. So 
So we've converted centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed. Now we have 45.7 millimeters cubed. We're going backwards, uh, back in the other direction here to convert that into centimeters cubed. The conversion rate is a thousand, but this time we're converting into larger units. So that means we'll divide by that thousand in this case, because that second conversion rule said that if we're moving to larger units, we'll be dividing. Quite a lot to remember here, isn't there? So when we divide by a thousand, we'll move the decimal point to the left, one, two, three spots, or we could also do it on our calculator, of course. So we'd fill in those spaces with zeros there, just to show you. 0 0.0457 is our answer. So that time we had to check out the conversion rate, figure out whether we were moving to smaller or larger units, look at the conversion rules, lots of steps there. Okay, now we're moving from meters cubed to centimeters cubed. Uh, now that's at that conversion rate of a million here is in that uh, middle rule here. Wow, so that conversion rate is a million. Are we converting to smaller units or bigger units? Now centimeters cubed we're converting into and that's smaller than the meters cubed we had at the start. So we'll be multiplying by that million. That will move our decimal point six spots. But I think I'd be preferring to do that one on our calculator. <laughs> Final answer, 523,000 centimeters cubed in that 0 0.523 meters cubed. Okay, this time it's meters cubed to centimeters cubed this time. The conversion rate's still a thousand, but we're going to a different, uh, in a different direction. We're going, we're turning into meters cubed, which is a larger unit. So we'll be dividing by a million. So when we divide by a million, the decimal point, which doesn't seem to appear there, but it's actually at the end of the question, it'll move six spots to the left there, and uh, that's definitely done on the calculator in my book, <laughs> if you have it handy. 0.03456. They're nicely in order, aren't they? Okay, so we just go through the normal decisions there. We have to figure out the conversion rate and whether we're moving to larger or smaller units, whether we're dividing. Quite a lot to think about. Not easy, these questions. That's why I wanted to set it out nice and carefully. And you can always watch the video again if you like. Okay, we've got kilometers cubed here. There's going to be a huge conversion rate here. We're moving into meters cubed, so that's converting into a smaller unit. Let's check the conversion rate. Between meters cubed and kilometers cubed, it's a billion, a thousand million. Okay, a billion is the conversion rate. We're going to small units. We're going to multiply this number by a billion. Not often do you get to multiply something by a billion, but you'd move the decimal point nine spots to the right, so you end up with 325,000 meters cubed in that many kilometers cubed that we started with. This time we're going the other direction, but we're still involved with uh, kilometers cubed and meters cubed. The conversion rate's still a billion. I'm impressed. <laughs> we're moving to larger units this time, so we're dividing by a billion. We'd be moving the decimal point nine jumps to the left. It's actually at the end of that decimal point, but let your calculator do the hard work on that one, boy. Okay, if you move your decimal point or checked it in your calculator properly, we'd have 0 0.0042 kilometers cubed in 4.2 million meters cubed. So lots of conversions there. They're the trickiest of the lot. The conversion rates are huge. So units of volume, we saw that there was uh, a thousand millimeters cubed in a centimeter cubed, a million centimeters cubed in a meter cubed, and a billion meters cubed in a kilometer cubed. We followed some conversion rules there. So converting to smaller units we multiply, converting to larger units we divide. And just to show you, this is a nice uh, diagram here. To move from kilometers cubed to meters cubed we will be multiplying by a billion. If we're going the other direction we'll be dividing by a billion. If we're moving from meters cubed to centimeters cubed the conversion rate is a million. If we're going the other direction to the bigger unit, we'll be dividing by a million. If we're going from centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed, the conversion rate is only a thousand. Seems paltry. <laughs> to go from millimeters cubed the other direction to the bigger unit, we'll be dividing by a thousand. So if you wanted to get that diagram down, that sums up all the conversions between the different units of volume. 
Hope that helps. Quite involved. I'd probably need to watch that again to uh, sort that, get that sorted. A lot of things to think about in each of the conversions. Those questions are harder than they look. So uh, check out the video again until you get the hang of it. So we'll uh, see you next time. And don't forget uh, peterblakemaths.com. peterblakemaths.com for all your mathematical videos. See you next time.